Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Eddie's Toy Box and today we're going to be taking a look at number 19 from the WWE Pop Line Wolfpack Sting. It's a GameStop exclusive. So basically what Wolfpack Sting is, is he's not a WWE superstar, he's a WCW superstar. The Wolfpack was a stable in WCW during its heyday and WWE bought WCW so therefore they own the rights to make stuff like this, which is Wolfpack Sting. Um, He's got a new box art to match the pop, because sometimes they change it, sometimes they don't. Uh, back of the box shows you the other pops on the line. Wolfpack Sting shares the same number as regular Sting. So we've got the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, Roddy Roddy Piper, Sting, Ultimate Warrior, and Andre the Giant. Now, we've reviewed Nature Boy, Ric Flair already, Sting already, and Andre the Giant. We just haven't reviewed Ultimate Warrior or Roddy Roddy Piper. Uh, Piper and Flair, Piper and Flair, are both Target exclusives. Um, and, uh, this is an official licensed WWE product. So, basically, let's bring in a regular Sting. So you can see him side by side. It's basically just a repaint, which is almost essentially what Wolfpack Sting is. Anyway, he painted his face red when he joined the Wolfpack. Um, so it's pretty cool. And then again, if you have Sting already, you may not want this one. Um, as far as the sculpt goes, same exact sculpt, hair parted in the middle. Long hair on the sides, the face paint has just the generic black lines. Now, if they wanted to switch it up, they could have added more black lines or more detailed black lines. Um, like, you know, Sting, but it's the same. Just red paint. Um, gloves, he's in that. You know, more and more, the WWE Pops, they're getting into, you know, the same exact poses as each other. Like, for the majority of them, they have their arms down by the side, but for Sting... And Hulk Hogan, they have their arms like this. And Brock Lesnar has his arms like this. And for, like, Ric Flair and the Nature Boy, they both have their hands on their hips. Um, so it's basically, like, they're just reusing the same molds as these guys and just painting on different accessories because this is sculpted out to his singlet. It does come out a little bit, but for the most part, they're just all in the same poses. Um, you can see that they've given him the sting, you know, the pads that Sting wore on his knees are through his singlet right there. You can see, on you know, he's got like a cup, a cup on. The scorpion's right here. Scorpion's white. We have already reviewed this guy, so we'll get back there, you. Um, back of the pop, just generic. No logos, no designs, no anything. It's just the back of a black singlet. Then he's got the gloves. Um, you can see on the back here, back of the boots. Not many paint flaws, except, you know, when you look on the bottom here, he's got some missing paint here. But you can just, you know, dab a little black there, and it'll be fine since it's black. It's not something that's a huge deal. Um, not many paint flaws as far as the face goes because this could easily have the red on the hair. The red could be on the arms here and it isn't. So this one is one of the better off ones because the cause for concern with paint issues is there. But there you go. Sting, both versions of him. He's going into the WWE Hall of Fame this year. There's rumors out there about his retirement, but I guess they've been greatly exaggerated after he took that turnbuckle pile bomb by Seth Rollins. Um, if you like the pop, you can get it at GameStop right now and if you like the video give us a like comment on it down below subscribe for more follow us on instagram esbgo underscore figs we post daily pop pictures look for us on twitter eddie's toy box facebook eddie's toy box same exact name join us on facebook at popping off about funko look for my column thursdays popvinyls.com and as always be kind to one another have a great day and free the pops See you.